Yeah, I mean, uh, did a lot of great things. Um, you know, just from top to bottom, really, from goaltending to defense to forwards, just supporting one another all over the ice. Um, a lot of communication through the neutral zone, through the O zone, and obviously made good of our chances. What does it say about the way you guys played without Austin, which has been something over the years you guys have done well without him? Um, yeah, I mean, we've talked about it a lot. Um, injuries or sickness is going to happen throughout a season. Um, I mean, it's obviously happened to our decor quite a bit throughout the start of this season. A um, couple guys, you know, fighting illness the last couple of days and weeks. So um, we always talk about having guys ready to jump in the lineup and be uh, contributing right away. And we've had a lot of guys do that this year. And it's, um, you know, obviously it builds their confidence up, builds the team confidence up. And that's what you need for a successful team is everyone feeling like they're part of it. And, you know, when they're getting their part, they're doing it. What can you say about Nyes and, and his development that you've seen since the start of the season? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I mean, he's, uh, he's just been great all around, really, you know, with his play, um, his play with the puck, his play off the puck. So um, I think he just keeps building his confidence up higher and higher every single game. And, you know, he's, uh, he's showing it his last couple. So coming off a 7 nothing win and you now have a point in nine straight games, this team does, how do you not get uh, complacent when it comes to your team play? Don't think about it, I guess. Um, I mean, I just like the way that I've been playing hockey of just moving my feet, uh, controlling the puck, and, you know, making plays off that. So just try to keep doing that, try to keep finding ways to uh, find people in good areas and keep trying to find myself in good areas. Feeling better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, said you made it to the rink but decided not to play. If, you know, how, how close did you come to playing? Or? Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess if you want to get in details, I mean, I was just throwing up all afternoon and thought I could get to the rink and, you know, maybe get it settled down, but I couldn't, and yeah, so that was that. What do you to say about the way your team has played on Saturday in your absence? Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, it was clean as uh, the games we played all year, and, um, yeah, I mean, I just thought, you know, all the guys played really well, the guys stepped up, that uh, we're playing uh, in different spots in the lineup, and, um, you know, just great to see, uh, you know, an outcome like that, Bobby scoring his first goal, Jonesy with a great night, obviously guys contributing all throughout the lineup, so it's always always good to see. What kind of pushback do you expect from the Rangers having met them very recently? Yeah, I mean, obviously seeing them last week, um, you know, you always like those, uh, I guess, you know, shot at redemption, uh, you know, especially that quickly uh, coming back. So, um, you know, we just got to be ready to play, continue this process that we've kind of been on over the last, uh, last few games and uh, just continue to take steps uh, in the right direction. What about for you? Do you try and just take the next 24 hours easy a little bit? I mean, push yourself on the ice, but then just try to rest and recover? From I think just, yeah, pretty normal game day, kind of game day before routine. And, yeah, just get ready to go for tomorrow. And you know, I felt, felt pretty good today. And, Hopefully it just kind of uh, flushes out of the whole system and you're just kind of back to feeling like normal. Speaking of the process, what are you guys doing in your own end, do you think, that's been able to facilitate this offensive burst you've had the last few games? Uh, I think breaking out of our zone and just closing quicker when uh, the other team's getting rolling around and uh, just trying to limit their, their time and space and when we get the puck and guys uh, moving um, to the offensive zone and just breaking out quick. That's the way your team has played, like 14 out of the last 15 games. You guys have registered points. What what does that say about the way your team is playing? Yeah, I mean, I think we've uh, made a lot of improvements in areas that maybe weren't as strong at the beginning of the year. And, um, you know, we've been in a lot of tight games, a lot of games where, you know, six on five battling back. And, um, you know, I think it just shows the resilience of the team that no matter where the game's at, uh, always trying to, you know, push and get that next one and give ourselves a chance to, to win the game or put in overtime or, or hold on to leads. So um, I think those are positions that we're pretty comfortable in now and we just got to, you know, continue to stay focused when we're in those uh, situations. You didn't get to be there in person, but what's it like to see a hardworking guy like Bobby get that first NHL? Yeah, it's awesome to see. I mean, just the uh, reaction, the emotion on his face. Um, you know, I feel like almost a year ago last year, he scored and got his goal taken away on the father's trip. So, um, you know, it was cool for him uh, to get rewarded the other night. Uh, he's been playing great for us and, uh, you know, he's a great guy, great teammate to have around. So all of us are extremely happy for him. How nice is it to have Austin back out there? He looks like he'll play tomorrow, I assume. Yeah, yeah, that's great. We, 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 we had known he bounced back pretty quickly yesterday, uh, so yeah, he was full go today. What about uh, TJ Brody? Uh, Brody's been a slower process. Uh, this morning, breakfast was 
his first uh, first real meal that he's had in a couple of days. So it, we, you know, he felt good enough to get out there. We just didn't want to didn't want to stress him too much today. So we'll just continue to you know monitor him and have him build himself up uh, over the day and and uh, see where he's at tomorrow. If he doesn't go, what give you the trust in someone like Simon Benoit to skate with Riley? If that's what you go with. Yeah, I don't think that's what we would go with. So it was just it was just more of a, you know, uh, I think at this point, you know, we're preparing as though Brody will be available. Um, but that said, with with Benoit, is more so just that uh, we like him in whatever spot we've put him in. But. Uh, you know, that's not where he would be tomorrow if he's in. How tricky are the next few days with the roster freeze coming up? Do you have to take that into consideration? I, I'd never even thought of it until now. So it's not, um, I think we, we've got uh, more than enough uh, bodies healthy. We hope we can we can shake uh, this illness thing. Uh, no new cases in the last couple of days of, of guys uh, coming down with the, with the same symptoms and, and issues. Uh, so we hope we're through that. Do you wish you could bottle Saturday's game and break it open whenever you need it? Sure, that would be great, but I think that's a fantasy. <laughs> what uh, What are you doing on your own end, do you think, that maybe facilitated some of that offense? I just uh, The other night we broke up plays, whether it's the neutral zone or just on our entry or in D zone, we transitioned really, really fast uh, going the other way. So uh, getting the puck back uh, quickly and then getting on to offense bef before our opponent you know can get their them, themselves gathered on defense is really what everybody in the league is trying to do i just uh, we were incredibly fast the other night incredibly sharp uh and uh took advantage of our opportunities that way and you know it's not unlike uh, frankly how we we started in new york uh last week you know we, we uh got on top of uh, our opponent took advantage of our opportunities built the lead uh, you know, so it, when you're when you're going well and you're feeling feeling really good, it, it you know those type things tend to tend to fuel your legs a little bit. You know, we had a lot of jump early in the game. I think it was can't help but think it's carried over with how we finished the Columbus game. You know, so that's that's all good things. And we tried to you know come off a day off yesterday and then uh, our first practice day in almost two weeks here today. Um, we're trying to leave here with a similar type of feeling with, with you know, having good energy. What do you see from Nyes on a daily basis that you think has maybe allowed him to transition pretty successfully into this full season? Um, I think he's just his confidence is a, you know, is a big thing. I think we saw that with how he stepped right into the playoff uh, playoff setting and was able to make an impact. So he's a confident guy. I think he really believes in his ability to go out and make plays and handle himself physically. Uh, I'm not just talking with, of course, how he engaged in a fight the other night, but just more so in the battles and the competitive nature of the league. Uh, so that's really what I think it's about. Now, doing it every single day, doing it consistently, is the greatest challenge for any young player coming in, and it's something we've been we've been mindful of. Uh, and we've talked a lot about internally is. You know, he's a guy that he does play a fast and a hard game, and uh, it's a physical game, um, and he's used to really asserting himself physically. Uh, but that's in a college schedule, and doing it more so in the NHL as a first-year pro is is extra challenging, and, and we're trying to be mindful of that. And then you compound the fact that we're asking him to play in the top six and to take on tough matchups, and it, there's a lot on his plate. Um, and quite frankly, that's part of the reason why we didn't play him uh, coming off of his illness when he probably could have played in that in that day in that I think it would have been the Columbus game where he, you know he took the morning skate and he was feeling better and you know unlike Brody seemed like he bounced back more like Matthews uh, in terms of just being the one day but we just felt uh, again being mindful of what he's going through as a first year player is that it's just a lot for us to ask a guy that hadn't eaten in a day and hadn't slept and thrown up and doing all that kind of stuff and then you're asking him to play an NHL game the next day so let's just take a step back let him gather himself and perhaps that's part of why he came so hot out of the gates and was playing on a 
such a high level in that first period is that's what uh, you know something like that a little bit extra rest uh, can do and then also the hunger of missing a game an additional game too you you want to get back to it how much as a coach do you like or see an advantage in getting an opponent um, pretty close together like the Rangers and the Blue Jackets that later in the week yeah I think it's I think it's good um, I like that I mean you used to get that a ton in the American League you know back to back in the same weekend or or um, or uh, you see them again the next week and you see them with such regularity, I think it adds a little extra to it. The preparation is that much easier, which is a nice thing to have in the NHL. You know, when you've got 31 teams to prepare for, um, to have it where it's a little bit shorter turnaround to get prepped. And then you've got some adjustments to make from what you did the previous time out. So there were some things we talked about here today that we felt we didn't do very well when we were in New York. And, and uh, it gives us time to, to make those adjustments and be that much more ready tomorrow. When we uh, look at Saturday, your team played so well without Austin. That's been a trend over the last couple of years. In your opinion, what does that say about your group? Well, obviously... I mean, if we're just focusing on this year's group, I think, as I've said before, I think we've proven to be a very resilient group, um, or deep group, too. You know, we've had a lot of injuries, uh, mainly on defense. We haven't had too many disruptions on forward, but in each situation, whether it's defense or in goal, um, or now in this case, like you say, with Austin um, being out, uh, you know, when we were in New York last week, Nyes was out, and Gregor went, you know, and played and moved up the lineup, and... Uh, you know, we've we've responded to those situations, and that's what good teams do. Uh, we talked about it the other night. I think when you lose a player uh, with the magnitude of Austin, it it uh, creates a lot of minutes and a lot of opportunity for other people, uh, and then also just gets the team's attention. You know, it's like okay, we got to make sure we can. Uh, but you know, it's not an issue for us. You know, everybody's just got to be a little bit better, and um, you know. Fortunately for us, over the years, the team responded well in those situations.